It is time now for the Mule Train News Program on this Monday, January the 9th, 2017. Brought to you today by the First Bank along with Leal's Mexican Restaurant. The city of Muleshoe has received notice from Atmos, West Texas, that the annual rate case was filed on December the 1st. And Atmos is requesting increase of 6 point. 49% for residential customers and 5.23% for commercial customers. Negotiations to reduce the percentage increases has begun. Also, the City of Muleshoe, the Muleshoe Independent School District, and the Muleshoe Area Hospital District will all hold elections this year. And the date that you can first file to place your name on the ballot is January the 18th at City Hall. Council and representative boards will order general elections in February. In the Muleshoe City Council, we will hold elections for District 3 and District 4 this year. Also, on Monday night at 7.30, the ninth grade will be playing at Littlefield. Now, this will be for the boys and the girls freshman team will be playing little field here at the same time on tuesday night at five the jv and boys and girls basketball play teams will play at shallow water and then at six o'clock the varsity lady mules will play the shallow water and at eight o'clock the Varsity Mules team will play at Shallow Water also. Well, it's warming up, and that's good because over the weekend we received an inch of snow, and we also had a low of minus three degrees. And on Sunday, it was a much warmer day at 62 high, 18 low, and at 7 o'clock this morning on Monday, it was already 50 degrees, and by 11 o'clock, it was 65 degrees. And now, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, brings you the weather forecast for Muleshoe, Sudan, Amherst, Earth, and our entire vicinity. <laughs> Secure your life with fast technologies available through five area, whether you're in Muleshoe or anywhere in the world. Security and automation services for your home, farm, or business available now through your hometown company, Five Area. Plans starting now at $20 per month. Fast Technologies offers live and recordable video surveillance. Control your door locks and garage doors, whether you're in your recliner, or around the corner, or in Dallas. Lighting control and motion detection door and window sensors receive alerts through text email or phone plans again starting at twenty dollars per month call today five area 806-272-5533 or go by their website at fiveareacom they will also be happy to give you an on-site demo so stop by their offices today 302 uvalde street on the west edge of muleshoe a dsl internet connection is required that's home farm and business security and automation services available through fast technologies at five area call 806-272-5533 for more information well as mom mentioned we start ended last week off very cold and got an inch of snow here in the muleshoe area we hope that you're enjoying our snow video that we shot with our new drone you can find it on our facebook and twitter feeds as well in our rotation here on reach broadband channel six but we warmed up especially through sunday and we'll continue that here into this new week mostly sunday 
sunny today for Muleshoe on Monday. High in the mid 70s, near 74 degrees. West winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, so breezy conditions all day today on Monday. Partly cloudy tonight. Low around 45. Southwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour. Then mostly sunny on Tuesday. Tomorrow, high near 66, so a little bit cooler. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Gusts as high as 25 miles per hour tomorrow on Tuesday. Mostly cloudy Tuesday night, low around 36. Mostly sunny on Wednesday, high near 70 degrees. West southwest winds between 15 and 20 miles per hour. Wind gusts as high as 30 miles per hour during the day on Wednesday. Wednesday night, mostly clear, low around 36. Thursday, mostly sunny, high near 64 degrees. Calmer winds, west winds between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Mostly cloudy Thursday night, low around 30. Friday, it will change our weather. A chance of rain or freezing rain before noon, then a chance of rain in the afternoon hours. Mostly cloudy, high only around 41 degrees. East-northeast winds around 15 miles per hour. A chance of rain or freezing rain Friday night. Mostly cloudy, low around 21. Then much uh, cooler for the weekend coming. And uh, also we're going to have some precipitation, some rain and snow chances as well for this coming weekend. But a nice week ahead of us. Highs much warmer and breezy conditions all the way through Wednesday. Five Area Telephone, West Plains telecommunications has presented to you this edition of the weather forecast Bali county judge sherry harrison gives us the agenda for monday's meeting of the commissioner's court for Bailey county they will consider setting terms for both the county and the justice of the peace courts consider appointing commissioners as road overseers and also appoint a chairman and members for the Bailey County Historical Committee. That's among the uh, agenda on the Monday docket for the Bailey County Commissioner's Court, according to Judge Harrison. The Muleshoe City Council will also meet on Monday at 5.30 at the Council Chambers in City Hall. And on the agenda will be Lynn Hicks, who will talk about the animal shelter here in Milshew. Also, they will consider a resolution authorizing the submission of 2017-18 Texas Community Development Block Grant Program applications to the Texas Department of Agriculture. They will also consider stop sign ordinance and reimbursement of receipts from the Muleshoe Rotary Club of $1,833 for reimbursement for the 24th annual team roping event held on Labor Day weekend. And that will come from the hotel and motel tax funds. They will receive a financial statement and investment summary for the month of December 31st. Also, among the administrative reports will be the city of Muleshoe hosted a blood drive on December the 21st, and they saw 10 patients and collected nine units of blood to take back to Amarillo. The demolition work has been completed at 303 South Main Street and contractors will begin renovation work in the very near future. Also at the end of the meeting, the mayor and city council members will give closing remarks. Of course, you can hear later on Monday or early on Tuesday morning the entire Muleshoe City Council meeting here online and on the air on Channel 6. It'll be on our front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com, our Twitter, and also our Facebook, Gil Lamb, as well as on the cable on Channel 6. 
Stay tuned. We'll be back with more Mule Train News. Meow's the best place to get fajitas, burritos, salads, and grilled cheese. They also have the best seasoning ever. So go to Liao's Mexican Food Restaurant at 1010 West American Boulevard in Milshu, Texas. The best Mexican food ever. This edition of the Mule Train News is being brought to you today by Liao's Mexican Restaurant along with the First Bank, where the First Bank you can show your school spirit with the First Bank School Spirit MasterCard debit cards available now at 202 South 1st Street, 806-272-4515. Available for the Mule Shoe Mules, Dimmit Bobcats, or Bovina Mustangs. Call or come by for more information. The new School Spirit MasterCard debit cards where you can earn cash for your school every time you swap your card and show your team spirit for the mule she meals again call 806-272-4515 or go by 202 south first street the first bank the member fdic get 50 percent off all remaining christmas items now at frying cox 401 south first street in mule Shoe, including stockings cookie jars Turvis Christmas cups, decorative blocks, rope lights, Christmas plates, and much, much more. Clean out all of your dead leaves with a great selection of rakes and outdoor trash cans and plastic and steel in 20 through 45 gallon sizes along with lawn and leaf trash bags and contractor bags. Get ready for the snow and cold with snow shovels and ice melt including the large 40 pound bags, pipe wraps and insulation, faucet covers, and window and door sealant. Frying Cox has expanded their sewing selection with more needles, scissors, bobbins kits, rotary blades, pin cushions, fabric adhesives, stabilizing fabric spray, tape markers, mini irons, wrist cushions, and more. See their new selection of insulated lunch totes as well at Frying Cox. Master lock padlocks available at Frying Cox and key to lock system by Master. Open multiple locks with the same key. Don't forget, get 50% off all remaining Christmas items now at Frying Cox, 401 South 1st Street in Muleshoe, Texas. Both the varsity Lady Mules and Muleshoe Mules won their games in district over Friona on Friday. There were no JV games played that night because of the weather. Muleshoe Lady Mules, 52. The Squaws of Friona, 38. And this put us in first place with a tie along with Idaloo, Shallow Water, and Roosevelt. We are four and one in the district and ten and seven overall for the season. That's for the Lady Mules. The Mule Shoe Mules also beat Friona and the score was Mules 75 and Friona 31 and that means that now the mills are one and two in district. Avery Johnson, daughter of Stacy McElroy Johnson, marched with the Westlake High School Chaparral Marching Band in Austin at the Rose Bowl Parade in Pasadena last Monday. Avery plays the snare drums for the band. Her uncle is Eric McRoy here in Milshoe, and of course her mother, the former Stacy McRoy, was reared here and is a Milshoe High School graduate. It does pay to advertise on Channel 6. On Friday in the Mill Train, we announced that Mark Leno the grandson of the late Mr. And Ms. Julian Leno of Milshu had a lot to give away. We didn't even really know where in Milshu the lot was located. But Elena Hernandez heard the announcement and called his mother, Linda Lou Lancaster Brown, in Columbia, Missouri. And she wants that lot. She came here in 1949 with her father 
and her eight brothers and sisters. Rosalio Luera was her father, and by the way, he worked for Julian Leno over at the lumber company and also in Julian and Lois Leno's yard. And that was really neat for the Leno family to give this lot to someone who actually knew the Leno's and had worked for them. And uh, Lena Hernandez worked in 19, I uh, mean, uh, worked for Marie Leno for three years cleaning her house. But she's worked for a lot of people here, Sam Dameron's and John Smith and Clinton and Maxine Rogers and many, many others. And so she's never owned a home of her own or a lot of her own. And so now she is going to be the owner of a lot over in the Leno edition. She's 85 years young. Isn't that a nice ending to that story? It does pay to advertise on Channel 6. On Tuesday at the Onita Wagnon Senior Citizen Center, they're serving on Tuesday baked ziti with meat sauce, mashed sweet potatoes, zucchini, squash, broccoli, and cauliflower salad, sliced whole wheat bread, peaches, and apples, and also you have a choice of uh, drink. Now, they will be there from 11.30 to 1 serving noon luncheon every weekday. Wednesday, they're so serving chicken fajitas, refried beans, white rice, toss salad, low-cal dressing, whole wheat tortillas, and ambrosia. Thursday, barbecue beef sauce, smothered potatoes, pinto beans, apricots, wheat buns, and on Friday, it's always fish or chicken strips, your choice. The Fellowship of Alcoholics Anonymous and the al Family Group meet every Friday and Tuesday nights at 7 o'clock at the First United Methodist Church of Milshu 507 West 2nd. Now, that's the AA group meets on Friday and Tuesday nights. AA is a fellowship of both men and women who share their hope, strength, and experience to stay sober one day at a time. Al-Anon is for family and friends of alcoholics and our drug addicts, and they meet every Monday night at 7 at the First United Methodist Church, and please use that extreme south door on West Avenue F to enter, and it's the first door on your right when you open the door and walk into the hall. On your prayer list, please remember Richard Albertson, former Muleshoe High School coach and teacher. He went back to college at Texas Tech and became a medical doctor and now is a medical doctor in Duncan, Oklahoma, and he is ill. Please remember Dr. Richard Albertson, formerly of Muleshoe. Also remember Lavinia Garlington, her husband Lloyd, and all of their family. Lavinia is back in University Medical Center and has pneumonia. And her husband Lloyd Garlington is here in Muleshoe. Wanda Wiley's sister, Linda Rogers, also needs to be on our prayer list. She lives in Amarillo. And Francis Del Toro is in intensive care at University Medical Center in Lubbock, according to Dora Triana. Please remember Francis Del Toro and all of her family in your prayers. And the family of Deborah Churchman Etheridge, 64, of Hereford, formerly of Sudan. She was the sister of Scott Churchman of Milshu. Cassie Precure Schaefer, 
the daughter of Marjorie Precure of Irving, formerly of Milshu, and the late Kenneth Precure, and Cassie Precure Schaefer is having major surgery. Please remember Cassie, her husband Larry Schaefer, and their family all in your prayers. Joe Copley, who has had knee replacement surgery recently, and our Mrs. Santa, Irma Lee Al, who's had a lot of problems with her teeth lately and has been to the dentist numerous times and is recuperating from that. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just one moment. Please stay tuned. Start the new year of 2017 outright and use the three new nurse practitioners at the Milshu Area Medical Center. Christy Lee, Neo Mary, Naria, and Jana Soto. Now, you can call to make an appointment with Christy Lee and Leo Naria at 806-272-7544. That's the medical clinic at Milshu, and it's located inside of the Milshu Area Medical Center at 708 South 1st Street. Jana Soto works at the Family Medical Clinic across the street from the hospital with Dr. Bruce Purdy. Last week, Miss Liz Beckerine, the young daughter of Matt and Nancy Beckerink of Milshu, sang with the Amarillo Youth Choir before the start of the Harlem Globetrotters basketball game in Amarillo. They sang the national anthem. Also, Liz Beckerink and the other members of the Amarillo Youth Choir will later in the spring of this year go to Branson, Missouri to perform, and next year they're planning a trip to Ireland. So we're very proud of young Liz Beckerink, daughter of Nancy and Matt Beckerink of Milshew. On your prayer list, remember the family of Jerry Warren, 99, of Fort Worth. She was the sister of Bonnie and Jim Carpenter of Milshew. We have learned that on February the 20th is the day for the Bailey County Junior Livestock Show. Daryl Jennings also is on our prayer list. He formerly lived for years out in the Last Buddy community with his wife, Glenda, and they both are at Raider Ranch in Lubbock. But Daryl Jennings is very, very ill. Remember a former Muleshoe resident, Tanya Neal Heflin, who was reared here in Muleshoe, the daughter of Joe Dean and Merlin Neal, and she is recuperating from recent surgery. The family of two, the families, I should say, of two Spring Lake Earth High School students, Joe Manzanellis, who was accidentally electrocuted, and Macy Foley, who had a severe asthma attack. Please remember all of these families in your prayers. Robert and Maureen Hooten, Lewis Wayne and Wanda Schaefer, Mary Nell Bleeker, Gladys Black, Barbara Blackman, Ruby and Cleo Ward at the Parkview Nursing Care Center. And we're glad to report that um, Doc Jones is back at the Parkview. Also remember Patricia Smith and her husband David, Cody Johnson and his wife and children, the families of James Brown, Mary Helen Wade of Abernathy, the mother of Janet Morgan of Milshu, and a native of Milshu, 97-year-old, Lieutenant Colonel Roy H. Elrod. 
Johnny Atkinson, Buck Markle, 87 of Floridita, the father of David Markle of Milshu, Sierra Nicholas, Boyd Magby, Johnny Atkinson of Farwell, and Freddie Enzeldua of Milshu. <laughs> Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by the First Bank, along with Liao's Mexican Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train rotating on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well. Find it free of charge, on demand, on our website, muleshoetv.com. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page. I'm Tumbleweed Smith, exploring the Guadalupes. Details in a moment on the Sound of Texas. And the Sounds of Texas is brought to you here on Reach Broadband Channel 6 as well as MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe as well as in Morton. They're celebrating 77 years of rural electrif electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric. They're owned by the members they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online, bcecoop.com. The board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope that you enjoy the Sounds of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith. A lot of people have visited the Big Bend National Park and Carlsbad Caverns. Fewer people have visited Guadalupe Mountains National Park. This area has been set aside by the federal government as a place to leave untouched. It's one of those things you can drive by the Guadalupe Mountains and pretty stark desert country and you look up at the mountains and you wouldn't imagine looking from the highway that you would walk back into this world of flowing streams and maple trees and ferns and <laughs> it's a hidden thing and a place that can be discovered but it gets overlooked. Drew Stewart is a Fulbright scholar who could live anywhere but chooses to live near the Guadalupes. He has hiked several trails in the park. There's some really beautiful places that people Rarely go. Once you get beyond the main places, you've pretty much got the place to yourself quite a bit of the time. Places like Pine Top, uh, Bush Mountain, Blue Ridge, there's a wonderful campground uh, that you hike to from Dog Canyon called the Marcus Campground. And it's, uh, it's just sort of in the middle of this uh, kind of golden grassland area, the foothills of the Guadalupe Mountains, and it's a really beautiful place. All kinds of... Uh, really special places. The sand, the white sand dunes on the uh, on the western side of the park, you can walk along those uh, gypsum dunes of pure white sand and look up at the highest peaks in Texas, and that's a pretty special thing that uh, very few people see. McKittrick Canyon has the same fall colors you find in New England. And the slopes of the high country, there are these big tooth maples that just turn um, spectacular colors uh, in the fall. It's that combination, I mean, first of all, it's a rare to be able to see fall color in Texas like this at all, but then the combination of desert terrain with these beautiful reds and oranges and yellows, um, the water here in the desert, it's really uh, kind of paradise-like and unexpected. I hiked McKittrick Canyon with Drew and stopped at a place called the Grotto to do this interview. The hike was not strenuous. We're three and a half miles in now, and it really isn't. It's not, um, I mean, there are certainly strenuous hikes in this park, but this hike is not strenuous, but what you get for your effort is, is a good benefit. In the evening, when the sun is going down, the stream reflects the golden glow of the sun. Drew Stewart photographed the stream while I recorded it. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with the Sound of Texas.